What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Now, listen, Leicester news coming up thick and fast. Harvey Barnes is apparently definitely going to either Newcastle or Villa, according to Twitter today. Um, articles from all over the place, actually, uh, have listed this one up. Now, if he's to go, I would definitely want something like in region of 35, 45 mil. I reckon we could pull in Farvey Barnes, English premium, a very good player, uh, highly regarded from a lot of teams. Um, and with that sort of money, we could look at, you know, bringing in some more players. Maresca has had his press conference um, as well today. Uh, he's been very positive so far on what he's seen. And what I do like is that he mentioned Jamie Vardy. Now, He's mentioned Jamie Vardy staying and that he's a fantastic striker. Uh, and uh, that's only good news because we've seen Nacho linked away. Now I'm seeing ramblings as well that Danny Ings is a, is a media linked player to Leicester. Don't really see how that will work, but... Imagine Ings and Vardy together. Vardy finishing up his career at 36 years old. I reckon he's not going to go much longer. Ings is getting on as well. But the two of them have been highly regarded in the Premier League over the years. Um, put them together for a swan song in the Championship to get us back up. I'll take that. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's definitely one I would take. Um I think in other news, is it Callum Doyle, uh, Man City's uh, defender, has also been rumoured to be of an interest. And obviously, Maresca, who knows um, Man City inside out, who's worked with their uh, academy lads and their youngsters, um, all their little you know mini star players that are coming. It seems obviously fitting for that to happen. Um, there was some new backroom staff announced as well yesterday. If you haven't seen that one, that one's on lcfc.com. Can't remember all the names, but there's some some backroom staff that have worked with Atleta Madrid, um, Palmer, just to name a few clubs that some of these backroom staff have worked with. Um, I think these have been handpicked by Maresca as well, which is, uh, again, I suppose it's good to see that we've got rid of the old backroom staff that have now gone uh, completely rotten to the core and gutted out. So if you do want to know more about that, it's pretty simple. Just go and click on lcfd.com and have a look at all of that. You've got Adam Sadler, of his name is, is gone, and, and the rest of them as well. All of those old backroom managers and coaches and stuff are, are all out the window. We are starting afresh for this season in the Championship, hopefully to get back up. Now, at the King Power Stadium, you've got, the, obviously, at the store, you've got the new kit out. And uh, I believe it or not, today, um, Top was in there uh, mingling with the fans. In, in fact, I've seen a photo of him with uh, Phil from Leicester Fan TV. Hello, Phil. Um, don't watch the content, to be fair, but who cares? Um, so he's, at the minute, mingling with the fans. So I think he's on the up in terms of fan connectivity again. Are things actually going to start, you know, maybe going back a little bit before we got all big headed and, and whatnot? Because I've heard all sorts at the training facility as well. I've heard that they've segregated different age groups and different levels so that the, say, for example, the, the under 13s or whatever it is, can't talk to the, the adults, you know, and, and they're all segmented off. So the golf, you can't use the golf course if you're not on the first team and, and you get like the, the seconds of the best food that's available. I've heard all sorts of rumours. I don't know if it's all true or not. But these are the things that I've been hearing over the last 24 months. I can't tell you who told me this. You can probably guess. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping that that maybe gets brought back down and, and open the reality of, you know, superstars being brought back down to, to normal normal human level like you, it's important that the club connects to all levels and all fans i think and and going forward i'm hoping that with the signings that we've got with connor cody announced the winks announced yesterday as well i'm pretty sure within the next week we're gonna have at least two more players i reckon 
um, with, like I just said, uh, maybe Harvey Barnes going out for around 35 to 45 million pounds. Let me know in the comments what you think Harvey Barnes would sell for and how much you'd take for Harvey Barnes. And who would you prefer him to go to? Would you prefer him to stay somewhere around the Midlands and go to Villa or something? Uh, you know, teaming up with <laughs> Yori Tielemans. Or would you like to see him go Newcastle or West Ham? Um, let me know. I I'd rather him stay. I, 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 To be honest with you, I think Harvey Barnes would smash it in the Championship. And... I think it's one that I wouldn't like to really let go, but we're not in a position of pulling power at the minute as it stands. Um, that's, you know, that's that's the price of being relegated. Um, it's one of them things. But Maresca press conference, looks excited, and I'm all for it. I can't wait for the season to start. We've got Nor Northampton. I think it's the 15th of July. We've got a Tottenham Hotspur game as well, which is funny enough where James Madison's gone. So that's going to be interesting having Harry Winks and, and James Madison on the PN, on the, <laughs> on the thumbnail if we do a watch along. It's going to be weird, isn't it? Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the season now. I, I wasn't at first. I was really doom and gloom. It took me weeks and weeks and weeks to get over getting relegated. And then the fixtures come out and, you know, the realisation that we are in the Championship has finally hit me. But now I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually looking forward to it. So let me know how you're feeling about the season. Do you feel, do you, are, you, are you feeling positive? Are you feeling that we're going to come up straight the way? Um, are you not bothered? Are you just... Don't matter. You're Leicester through, through, Leicester till you die. Let me know in the comments on your thoughts. Make sure you go and find me on social media. I am at Lee underscore Chappie on all social media. All of my handles are in the description of the video. Until then, guys, I shall see you all very, very soon. Take care. Peace out.